Okay, what else on our plate here? Populating array of objects. Uh, just uh, uh, we will probably go over this uh, one more time on Thursday. Array initialization syntax. There are um, uh, two ways to initialize an array. One way to initialize an array would be to, to do it the way we did so far. New string, uh, array of three strings, right? Uh, new array of 13 strings. New array of five integers. These are all examples of, of creation of an array in Java. However, an alternative syntax to this might be this. Uh, integer, I will just comment this. Say, all right, integer ir array uh, equals uh, uh, equals, uh, I don't know, 10, 20, uh, 30, uh, 40, uh, and 50. All right, just those numbers. So this is called array initializer uh, syntax or array initialization with specific numbers. If we do something like this, if we do something like this, then uh, what happens is that instead of using the new uh, syntax, um, we're using this array initializer syntax with curly braces. In that case, Java compiler automatically computes the size of an array based on the number of elements specified in those uh, in, 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 inside the braces, right? So if I knew, okay, this is the, the type of an array I need, those five integers, and those are particular values, you can do it right away. Then you don't have to run uh, through some sort of a loop or, or uh, individual statements where you assign an individual uh, uh, individual uh, values. In this case, uh, new becomes a syntax error. Cannot use new. I either use new and specify the number, like we did before, like at the uh, you know right here. This is the proper syntax of new, uh, or you say new. By the way, with primitive data types, if I just uh, kind of keep those two uh, together in this demo, right? So if we do this, all integers, all doubles, all uh, you know other uh, other types of, of, of data types uh, that we can use as primitive data types are initialized to zero. It means that Boolean values, if I create an, uh, an array of Boolean uh, flags, uh, you know, size five, six, or 10, all of them will be initialized to false. All integer elements in the array allocated by the new operator will be assigned zero. By the way, this is a double sort. This, this can hurt you. If you create an array of one million integers, it's going to take a while for that creation because what's going to happen, let, let's try this, you know, if it's like, let me actually run this program, right? I have this program. I allocate an array of five integers and some strings and, and so forth. So let me uh, run this program. Save it and run. So what happens is just print some values, and then it goes to the menu, and I say three to exit, and, and that's OK. But let me create an array of, say, uh, I don't know, Five million uh, uh, integers, big number. <coughs> Java specification says that five million of these numbers will be set to zero. And guess what? I'm expecting that this is going to take so, some time. Let's save this and run it. And well, this was sort of like unnoticeable, but let me try to increase this number somewhat, one more order of magnitude, and run it again. Um, I don't know. It's just ha sometimes I run into this situation. I guess uh, when when this is sort of like uh, uh, array size, array size, 
again, you can experiment with this, but we can do it this way. Array size equals this, or even ask the user for this number. Then it, it, it's in some situations you will see noticeable slowdown uh, based on the uh, uh, big big uh, array creation because uh, initializing it to uh, initializing it to uh, uh, zero it will take uh, time. So let's uh, let's try to play with an even bigger array. I guess. So let's just run that exception uh, Java heap space. So out of memory could never allocate that big of an array. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, but th thank you, Bob. But uh, well, anyway, what I'm saying is that uh, uh, we will we will play with this uh, uh, in the future, I guess. Uh, but um, and where did you get the maximum size? Uh huh. And did did it tell you where you can get it from the library? Uh, didn't tell me where okay. All right. All right. All right. So oh, okay. Anyway, but uh, obviously there is a limitation on the on the maximum array size, and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, you know. But my point is uh, right now is that also you can use the second syntax, which is uh, uh, array initializer. Create initialize array with particular number of elements. Mm -hmm. So. This slide here uh, does uh, have it, uh, and uh, you can also uh, use array initializer syntax with strings, right? So, for instance, I say uh, names should be an array of strings, right here, and use curly braces for array initializer instead of new, and in that case you can specify your strings explicitly and this will be defining both the size of your array and also the set of objects which will be referenced by our array or I can say I would like to have a array of products and here it is product you know this product that and uh, say new uh, and use the new operator to allocate new objects of course just keep that in mind that strings are not different at all. Uh, over here, I could be saying new string uh, one. That's exactly the same as saying uh, saying one or two or three, because Java compiler allows to abbreviate this syntax to just a short version of a string literal. But this is exactly the same as saying equals one, because it's still new string one uh, it's it's the same uh, so uh, in a way creation of a new string by using a, a string literal is no different than saying new string and specify what that string is okay so this is just a syntactical uh, syntactical convenience for a pro for Java programmer to abbreviate new string one to just one so that a shorter version of this syntax uh, is accepted by the compiler. All right, so how much more uh, array length? We already mentioned there is a length field. It knows the length of an array. Uh, and uh, it's very convenient when you use it in the, in the loop to loop through the entire set of elements. So printing an array of elements, uh, demo code is here with the loop. Again, we'll do it when, when, when we get closer to the homework. So I'm just kind of uh, uh, fast forwarding here, uh, and uh, uh, there is a for loop here demonstrated that the enhanced for loop. Let's talk about it uh, on Thursday. Uh, don't want to introduce any of the syntax. Um, and uh, so our next, uh, the second part of our discussion of arrays is going to be discussing the the actually some utility methods that exist uh, in Java library which provide us some convenient ways to manipulate our arrays for example 
There are ways to fill the array with particular values, uh, determine if array e equal to one another or not, produce a copy of an array of a specified uh, number of elements, and so, so forth. Uh, uh, sort an array and do the binary search. So we will do, this will be the second part of, of this presentation. And uh, uh, for now, I think what we're going to do is uh, just uh, uh, 